What's up guys, 67 IH Farmer here bringing you an update to my K646. As you can see here, we now have the engine hanging from a ratchet strap. Just pulled the oil pan off the bottom, getting ready to flip it upside down so I can look at the crank and see about pulling the pistons out. We do got to do some work to the piston rings and as well as the cylinders. See if the cylinders are scored at all. Uh, I know I could do that while just taking heads off, but we're going to look deep down inside of this engine while we got it all apart. Uh, today is brought to us very warmly by this wood stove. Uh, $100, $150 eBay special. It's worth every penny. Thing works amazing for heating this little shed. It's meant to go inside a, a tent, but it heats up in here real good. Got that uh, electric heater just on fan mode, blowing cold air across the top of the stove, and it circulates air pretty pretty darn good in here. But let's uh, flip this upside down and take a crack at this thing, see what we got going on, maybe pull a piston or two out. Well, here we are. I got the engine pulled up and flipped over. I got both heads off, and as you can see while I'm rotating it, I got both pistons out. Uh, I cleaned up between the cylinders here a little bit better. They were packed full of grease and dirt. It's currently probably like 75, 80 degrees in here because of this nice wood stove. But uh, let's take a look at what we got for the internals. So I will have to get an oil pump gasket. Won't be able to save that one. That one's junk. Oil pump was kind of a pain to get to because it was deep inside here. And one bolt on the back side of this gear pump gear um so here's the connecting rod caps they're not really t in too horrible shape and they got a little bit of scoring on them but i don't think it's any more than excessive wear uh, give me a second and i'll take the bearings off okay they're not really too too bad i see a little bit of wear but and nothing excessive to me. Here's the piston out of the low, the low side. Yeah, that came out of this side here. That's what this piston came out of. This wasn't the one that was burning oil excessively. But the piston rings, they're, they're all loose. I didn't have to break them loose or anything. They just, I mean, they still got spring to them. I don't see any cracks or anything in the, the rings. The pistons themselves seem like they're in good shape. They got good shoulders on them. The wrist pins are st still good. Not a whole lot of play in the wrist pins. They slide back and forth like butter. I am very impressed with these. This is the one that was burning excessive oil. And the rings on this looked exactly the same as the other one. So I don't know, maybe it was just a stuck piston ring or something, but all, even the oil wiper spring uh, underneath of it is in good shape but, and then the oil wiper ring is good and then the two compression rings are good i don't know i'm definitely going to order a new set of rings for it while i got it apart or order new bearings for it uh go on the caps or the connecting rods so i'll have four bearings a gasket for the oil pump and rings I don't think I'll even bother pulling the wrist pins out. They seem like they're in real good shape. I might rotate them or something. Try to anyway. As for the cylinder walls, they don't look too terrible either. I don't know what that is. It's pitting maybe? Maybe that might be my issue. I'll see about honing it because it looks like it's pitted or scratched there. This is the lower side. The upper side was the side that was giving me fits. As you can see, a puddle of oil right there. This one does not like to light up, I guess. I guess I'll have to get my flashlight out or something to show you guys. It does not want to focus. But I'll check out the the bores on them, get them honed out, order parts for this, get a new oil pump. Re, uh, while I got it all apart, I'll relap the valves, do a valve job on it, because look how much carbon is built up on that. Clean the heads up. I already took the valve train out of the one side, just about, this is just loose in there, that valve spring is. Got the valve out already. So, I'll take this valve side out 
and uh, got to invest in a parts cleaner. I'll end up soaking this entire engine in parts cleaner and get all this gunk off of it and maybe paint it with high, some high temp black paint. Get this thing engine, this engine running like a brand new machine. But the oil pump is pumping. It's got the passages seem nice and clear. There's not too much sludge in the bottom of the oil pan. Here's the oil pan. It's, yeah, there's really not too much sludge in the bottom of the pan. Somebody took good care of it. Did regular oil changes on it. Uh, me, not so much. I've probably ran it only probably a total of about 20 hours. 20, 30 hours total since I've got it. And I did a fresh oil change when I got it. And it was burning excessive oil. So I just started putting used oil in there from my truck. Which I know was good and kept it clean. But that should conclude this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and definitely stay tuned for more as I get to put this uh, this Onan CCKA back together once parts arrive. It should take probably two, three weeks. Sourcing parts for the CCKA are kind of difficult, so I'll see what I can. i got to wait for payday to order them, which is coming up. Uh, motor engine parts, get this thing back together. I might do two parts on them, put putting that back together i'll probably do the pistons and rings and that stuff and then i'll do the valves and stuff after that or vice versa do the valves first while i wait i still i got the valve lapping compound i got the valve lapping tool so that's probably what i'll do i'll uh, lap the valves on this clean up the heads and uh go from there but thank you please like and subscribe like i said and stay tuned for more there's a lot more to come